What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Colson, giving you the Grateful Dead show review from May 19th, 1974 at Portland Memorial Coliseum in Oregon. Some say it's the best Grateful Dead show ever in history. Some say it's not that. Let's get into it. We'll see how it is. Now, just some background information on Jerry Garcia's guitar. This is a very special guitar. It's called the Wolf. He had it specially commissioned. Here's a picture of it. The guitar made its debut in 1973 at a private party where Jerry Garcia played It Ain't No Use. Jerry Garcia used this guitar from 1973 all the way till 1993. In 2017, the guitar was auctioned off for a whopping $1.6 million. We can first hear the sweet strumming of this handmade American guitar in the first song, Mississippi Half Step Uptown Toodaloo. Now, I really noticed that no two dead shows are the same. When I was about, I want to say, a quarter of the way through listening to this album, when I heard Scarlet Begonias, they played a little more slowly with staccato rhythm. This kind of rhythm works beautifully with such a guitar. You can really hear the enunciation of the notes. A little bit later on in the show, in contrast, we have some southern smooth legato as Tennessee Jed starts playing. The Wolf guitar does an excellent job of making this song sound fucking brilliant. And now on to one of my favorite songs in this whole show, China Cat Sunflower. You can really hear Jerry Garcia's excited tone, and it makes this song sound amazing when he sings it. When I hear this song, it just makes me think that the whole band is having a great time on stage. A little later on in the show, they play a song called Weather Report Suite. And I was just saying how the band loves to have a great time on stage. They look like they're having an awesome time just jamming out. This song goes on for over 17 minutes. Just them, you know, Jerry and Bob just having an awesome time on stage, just rocking out. Everyone's loving it. Part of the reason why The Grateful Dead is such a special band is because they jam out and their entire concert just sounds like one song that just is never ending. For example, this Weather Report Suite grows masterfully into Wharf Rat. It just, it's so seamless. So many of these songs just have a seamless, wonderful, beautiful transition. That's why I love The Grateful Dead. But if you thought that The Grateful Dead was just for like nodding about and chilling out, think again. Because a little later on in the show, The Grateful Dead play one of their most successful rock songs ever recorded, Truckin'. This song is for people who love to just rock out and listen to a good tune. After their rock and roll jam, the dead just tries to chill out a little bit and then end with a show called U.S. Blue. The fire alarm is going off in my building now. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.